If you're going to have a safe and enjoyable axe using experience, then you really need to have a sharp axe. There's nothing much more aggravating than going to use your axe and finding that it's not sharp enough to do what you need it to do. Whatever you normally use to keep your knife sharp should work great to keep your axe sharp too. The most important thing is try not to ever let it get really dull in the first place. These are what I use the most when I go to sharpen my axes. So this is an axe puck and it's 240 grit on the back and 400 grit on the front. So I would use this more for like picking out little nicks and stuff in the edge and this for more just normal use. So I, I use that and then I use a ceramic rod. So I tend to use this more for just keeping it sharp and then if, if it ever gets kind of beyond that then I would use the putt. So um, I not only use the ceramic rod for axes but I use them a lot for my knife too. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of look and show you how I do this. So when I go to use a ceramic rod what I normally do is I hold it like this on the one side and then like this on the other side and I normally go away from the edge for the first few strokes and then if I develop a little wire edge then I'll normally right toward the end I'll go toward the edge but you want to be very careful doing that and just kind of use the tip of your rod and not get too close to your fingers so what I do is I keep my index finger right at the top of the, uh, the top corner or the toe of the axe to keep from rounding that corner off so when I get to it I kind of go run along my finger and it keeps it from rounding that corner off so do that on this side and then I do the same thing on the the heel of the axe when I'm going the other way So now we're going to look at using the axe puck. So you can use any stone instead of this, or you can use a fine cut file. Um, these are just easy to carry, so that's why they're so popular. Um, you need to keep it a little bit wet, and what that does is it keeps the pores of the stone from getting clogged with uh, metal filings, and it keeps it working longer. You need to hold it to where your fingers don't overlap the the bottom edge of the stone so you won't cut yourself. So what I try to do is try to stay with the original bevel of the axe. If you're doing a lot of heavy work like um, chopping up bone or a lot of hard knots you might want to bring it in a little bit steeper to protect the edge but for most things try to stay kind of with the original bevel. So. I usually just do it for a few seconds on this side and then flip the axe over and do a few seconds on this side. So when you get closer to the final sharpness of the axe you would change sides more often. So this is the fine side of the stone that we're using. Okay, so when it's, when it's about where you think it ought to be, it's a good idea to dry it off. If you're going to store it for a while, it's a good idea to give it a little coat of oil. Or if you're going to get back out there and use it, just keep using it. So with an axe puck and a ceramic rod, you can get your axe sharp enough to do pretty much anything that you need it to do. If you need an even finer edge, you can use a leather strop to kind of polish the edge and get it even finer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.